Anyway, welcome back to our. I'm just streaming this game called Doki Doki Literature Club. <sighs> Let's see. Remember there was like a brown haired girl here before? I don't know, her name was Monica or something? I don't know, it sort of rhymes with Hanukkah. You know, the main protagonist of Love Actually, Actually, Yeah, main protagonist of School Idol Project. Yeah. Anyway. New game. Oh, I didn't tell me to enter the name. That's weird. So why is this name Finale? It was an ordinary school like any other day. It's the usual. I'm surrounded by couples and friends. And groups walk to school together. I mean, I always tell myself it's about time to meet some girls or something. Oh, he knew his XP. Well, there's already the... Well, there's already his one girl. That girl is my Sayo. My... That girl is my... Is Sayori, my neighborhood and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up that habit once again. SXP, are you proud of me? Wait, why am I talking in my female voice? Uh, for what? You know. We're walking on, waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for now for a while. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought that was implied. Implied. Embarrassing it out loud. Come on, please. It's good, motivation. Fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. Yeah. We cross the streets together and make our way to school. As we draw near the streets, we become incredibly speckled with the other students making their daily commute. By the way, OSXP. Have you decided to join? Decided on a club to join you? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. Why does I feel like I'm saying this stuff? Feels like I'm repeating myself two times already. Maybe not. I started to say what I always do, and I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But something tells me Sayori would just be more. would take more offense that now. After all, how could I tell her that clubs were a waste of time? Then she started a club on her very own. Actually, yes. I decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think it'll be a surprise. Ew. You mean me. Be patient. Huh? You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I left a lecture on like such a carefree girl then I started to realize that in a way I envy her when when Sari puts her mind to something she accomplish great things that's why I like that's why I feel like I should do something special for her this school day is ordinary as it ever and it's over before I know it after I pick up something, pick up my things. I should stand and gather my money. Let's see. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school, school and upstairs in a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Before long, I find the room. I timidly open the front door in front of me. Hello? <sighs> OSXP, what are you doing here? Well, I... just... Eh, I glanced around the room. Huh? Huh? So here the... you're the OSXP that Sayori's been talking about. Well, thanks for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, OSXP. We're the Literature Club. I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. There's no need to be so formal. He's gonna be. He thinks you're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Nasuki. Tall one is named. Name is apparently. Tall one whose name is apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the others. In comparison, the girl named Nasuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. 
Oh, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. Working? Oh, 6P, you didn't, don't tell me you're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sairi. The literature club. Sairi's eyes lit up. Sairi's eyes lit up. No way. No way. <sighs> Sairi wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. Eh. Well, if Sairi is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad having you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially recognized club. I don't know what to say. We have to celebrate. Huh. What's an appropriate day for this, isn't it? Ah, uh, yes. After all, Natsuki decided to- Hey, don't ruin the surprise. <laughs> Sorry. Everyone sits down at the table. How about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few deaths of their Suki grabs a wrapped tray, and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I sit right next to Sayori. Suki probably matches back to the table, to the tray in the hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! <sighs> Suki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are done with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. Yeah, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sari grabs the one first, then I follow. It's delicious. Sari talks with her mouth full and already has managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around with my finger, looking at the best angle to take a bite. Nasuki's quiet. I can't help but to notice her sneaking glance in the direction. She was waiting for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it. I made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Nasuki. Well, of course it is. I'm a pro after all. You still need to thank me or anything. Nasuki, as Nasuki struggles to accept the accomplishment, you returns carrying a tea set. She carefully paces down a teacup in front of the in front of each of us before setting down the teapot and the tray. You you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry. The teacher gives us permission. After all, doesn't doesn't a hawk keep doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy it? The book? I guess. <laughs> I reckon you're trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I mean, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. But I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, SXP, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read in these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I mutter to my quietly to myself, half jokingly. Azuki's head suddenly curves up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, in that case... My favorite manga is the reader's Jojo. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces to the rim of the teacup with her finger. 
My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind it is amazing. And telling you a good story is such a in such a form of equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. She seems observed, and since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious, by the way, her eyes light up, but she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, you know, I like it a lot of little things. Don't feel intimidated if you read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something we, that we have in common. Hey, Yuri? Eh? Well, about the, f you know, the first thing he said. Mon manga? That's right. And Suki tends to read manga in the club room. Don't just say it. For some reason, Nezuka seems a bear spot. Besides, manga is literature too, you know? I didn't know Jojo was literature. So if you, so if OSXP wants to read some of my manga, then don't stop him or anything. Suki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify into a little thing. You can take this opportunity as well. Wouldn't you agree, OSXP? Maybe. So listen to this temptation, sorry, jumps in. Maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we all can get to know each other a little bit too. I mean, that's kind of the thing literature clubs do, right? I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. Yeah. You're right as usual, President. <laughs> I guess that means I should try picking up a mo no novel or something. Oh, that makes two of us. I don't mind if we're doing not only one. Then as for Yuri, eh. I have to read manga. Jeez, you're the you're the one to suggest me diversify. I should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of a hurtful. Hurtful. I didn't realize. With the guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, "I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest." If you're not into it, then I guess it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude on finding a manga to read as well. Really? I mean, it makes it ha makes me happy for you to go out do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me, something that you'll like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll go visit the bookstore after the, after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Uh, if you don't mind. I don't know. I guess I'll go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sorry, shut up. I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes. I'll look forward to it. Nezuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to meet everyone getting along. This game is really good. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, OSXP. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get a little better with you around OSXP. Or sorry, OSXP. Don't you say something like that? That's embarrassing. Oh, whatever. I was surprised when you told me that you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. You're gonna make the best club ever. Now that you join, everything is going to be so much fun. Hey OSXP, I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. 
<laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. That's right. I knew everything that she did. Maybe because I'm the president now. But I really know everything over 6P. <laughs> I know it's hard that you try to make everyone happy. But I know all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. Now it's just, oh god. And you made the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this. No, not again. No, please, god, no. Sorry, you don't know what you're doing here. With you. Forever and ever. F -f -o -r -e -e -e. No. Huh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Uh, sorry, I'm sorry, I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sire. Goodbye, OSXP. Goodbye, Literature Club. special day. Anyway, 
That's the end of DDLC. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is totally a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it continues to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality. A reality that our own world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish empathy. For the time it lasted, I want to, to thank you for making all of my dreams come true and for being a friend to all of the literature of the club members. And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Air script, please reinstall the game. Well, that's the end of the DLC. It was just a simple weed game. And then it turned into a horror game. There was a bigger message being explained. Several duck cars files being deleted. Uh, let's see. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Properties. Let's see. We add this to... What the fuck? No, there was already a desktop show. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? No shit. What am I checking? Wait, I'm gonna go into browse local files, characters. Everything just seems to be like copyright. No, no. I guess everything is end here. Well, I guess uh, we could just go back to streaming our simple weeb stuff. Like Love Live. Anyway, the end. Unless... Mm, nah, I don't know.